When working on my AX10 crawler, I really needed a set of links, and what I was finding online was a little bit more money than I wanted to pay, and I figured that I would just make them myself using some 3 16 inch uh, steel rod, and with just a few minor tools, uh, anyone can do it themselves. Honestly, it really wasn't nearly as complicated or uh, difficult as I was expecting. The first step is to measure the length of link that you're gonna need. And this is always a little bit difficult to figure out for me. So what I always did was just use a bit of threaded rod. I would measure the length of rod that I needed in between the ends of the rod end. What's important to remember is that you will need to add an additional 16-ish millimeters of length to whatever that measurement was to account for the threads going into the threaded rod. Then I would transfer that measurement to a section of steel rod. I used my pipe cutter. Uh, I just picked this up at your you know, local hardware store. Once cut, you want to use a file to create a little bevel on the end so that the die can go e more easily onto the end of the rod. Here I'm just using a little bit of oil to make it a little bit easier. And you just kind of put it on, try to keep it as straight as you can. Start off nice and slow, but as you get the thread going, it's a lot easier. You want to do a couple of turns, back off a little bit turn it a little more until you have about eight millimeters or so of threaded section for the rod end. So now that we have the thread cut onto the link, we'll need to use our tap to cut those threads into the rod end and they thread on just as easy as you can imagine. I decided on my lower links that I wanted a bit of a bend. So I marked an inch up onto the rod end and then using my bender, I put about a 30 degree or so bend into the links. I'll link the one that I'm using down below. It's fairly inexpensive. I'm using the Traxxas rod ends on these links. They're beefy, they're durable. You can get different offsets for them to, for your needs, which is really great. And there you have it. There's a full set of links. I repeated the exact same process for the upper ones, just didn't put the bend in them. The reason I'm using 830 seconds thread is that way I don't have to uh, turn the rod diameter down at all. I do not have access to a lathe and the 832nd thread size is just big enough that you can cut it into the steel rod without having to turn it down. It takes about 15 minutes or so per link to cut it to size, cut the threads in and everything. Um, so, you know, within a couple hours you can have a full set of links that are the exact length that you need yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Like I said, this was something I'd put off for so long, I figured it would be so difficult, but honestly, it really wasn't. Uh, take your time. It doesn't matter if the threads are not exactly centered onto the steel rod. If they're off a little bit, it's okay. Um, the main thing is getting the links the same length. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Click that bell button, the subscription button. You guys know what to do. Um, and I will see you again with another video.